State officials are a part of responding to the crash. They say this is the culmination of a lot of chaos caused by construction on the I-70 corridor. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Cole Henke is live in the city of Teutopolis tonight. Cole, you've been speaking with lawmakers about the issue all day today. That's right, Jacob. The crash took place here on Illinois Route 40, just a couple of miles down this road. And this is typically a pretty quiet road right through the center of Teutopolis. But because of all the, in, uh, the construction on Interstate 70, a lot of the traffic from the interstate has been rerouted to this road, including a lot of semi trucks. And lawmakers say there have been a lot of problems caused by this construction beyond the disaster this weekend. Several, several accidents since March. That's Teutopolis Fire Chief Tim McMahon describing what's been happening on I-70 and the surrounding detours. The interstate has been under extensive construction for the entire summer, and his department has been called out there for multiple accidents. And uh, there again, whether people are following too closely or I, I don't necessarily know if they're speeding. I don't think so. I think they're just following too close or possibly texting, just not paying attention. Those are the three big things. The tanker truck that spilled over was on Route 40 because it had been diverted from the interstate because of an accident. The, the tanker was uh, in the diverted track okay. and then had the crash. State Representative Adam Niemer grew up and still lives in Teutopolis. He says while panic and confusion were common during and after the evacuation, there was another emotion at the front of people's minds, frustration. A lot of folks are a little frustrated because of what's happening on Interstate 70, everything being diverted to, uh, to 40. We've been dealing with this for months in Teutopolis, and now we have this happen. Niemerk and several other area lawmakers said they had meetings with the state agencies earlier in the summer to try and address the extensive construction problems, but nothing has gotten better. We've been dealing with this with this all summer in, in, in here in T-Town, um, and, and we, we need some accountability there. But first and foremost, uh, you know, we need to get this cleaned up. Federal officials with the National Transportation Safety Board are spending the night in Teutopolis to assess the damage, and they will give an update on their findings and their next moves on Sunday. Now, Governor Pritzker also issued a statement on his social media accounts earlier on Saturday. He said, quote, our hearts are with the loved ones of those affected by the car crash and chemical leak in Teutopolis last night. My administration is on the ground and we will provide state support in any way we can. Jacob. Cole, you said the National Transportation Safety Board, they're coming to town. What does that mean? Jacob, we honestly don't know yet, but it is a very significant development here. One of the top leaders of the National Transportation Safety Board is coming to town along with a 15 member crew. We're going to hear more about exactly what their role will be going forward in all of this, but they are going to an open an investigation into this crash and we'll have to see exactly what the scope of that investigation will be. So stay tuned on WCIA Channel 3 and WCIA.com to find out more about that tomorrow. And Cole, I'm sure we'll be hearing more from you in the days to come. Thanks for your reporting in Teutopolis.